Zappa. Pink napkins. It's not my black favorite. Napkins. I was gonna say, I was like, wait, this sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. Is this gonna be a happier version of black napkins? We definitely did black napkins when I was in Texas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, we did black napkins when I was in Texas, but we also did it the year before, because for some reason I'm remembering it at your apartment. And remember, we did the thumbnail, and I pointed to myself for black. And then, and then I had napkin. napkins. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, that was a long time ago. It's so We've done so many Zappa songs, I, I cannot keep up in my head with when we've done what. Mm -hmm. Somebody could definitely suggest certain Zappa songs for us to do again. I don't know if I would even recognize it. <laughs> Certain ones for sure, but Certain it's like, ones. we've done literally hundreds of Zappa songs now. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. Definitely more than anyone else. Yeah, sometimes people have asked us if we've done such and such a song before, and I'll go look in the search engine. I'm like, let's find out. <laughs> yeah, for Not real, yet. for real. Okay. What's up, sad fam? Welcome back to the channel. It's a Side After Dark, aka SAD Action, with another reaction. This time, we're checking out Pink Napkins by the legendary Frank Zappa. This one was selected by our patron, Wayne H. Shout out to you. We've heard a lot of Zappa songs, but we haven't heard this one yet. So let's change that. Thank you. 
nice. That was beautiful. This was so beautiful. So mellow. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is just the mellow. This is like the mellow version of Black Napkins. Yeah. Because I think the chords are the same. Mm -hmm. And because it, I I remember in that song being really blown away by him being able to do so much with only two chords. In this, the same thing. I'm like, it's really only two chords. Do, 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 do. You know what I mean? Just over and over again. Yeah. And there's not even a lot of instruments. It's really just bass, drums, guitar. Yeah. yeah. But it, it just sounds so full. It sounds so beautiful. Like, I don't know how he was able to make that tone sound so luscious. That's the thing, you know? Because usually we kind of hear that tone, jazz, a little bit of rock. I felt like I was at an R&B concert. Mm -hmm. It was really, really luscious, really... Um, full i'm not the hugest fan of that tone when it's being used in rock and roll and jazz i'm really not unless it's like kind of used in like r&b ish ways and he really really did that i thought that was gorgeous if this were a solo if it were a zolo a zappa solo it would be number two to muffin man oh like, i wish it were a zolo i know i'm always like up one one is always one upping muffin man will always be number one but someone is always coming up and saying that they're going to be number two. And I feel like I'm going to make this a Zolo. Yeah, this is a great life. Zappa Solo. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would put this on a playlist. This was great. Yeah, and I was going to say also, I'm glad you brought it up. The tone really made it for me. Because it's like, it was really, because it's like, it's not distorted. It is clean, but there's something else going on. I don't know what kind of effect he's doing. or I think there's a, a little bit of wah-wah going on at some point. Mm -hmm. But whatever it is, it's like he just has such a mastery of a tone here. And it just fits... The tone just fits in perfectly with what the other instruments are doing. Yeah. You know? And I just want to say the reason why I'm not really a fan of, of this per se, because it's, it's so sharp. It is, it is so sharp that it kind of pulls away from the the, the warmth of music sometimes. Mm. And I feel like I, I'm sometimes listening to like like robots made this music, like, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So sometimes it's, it's just too sharp for me. But like, like I said, like something in a way he actually played this tone made it sound so like full and like thick and like warm that I just like loved it. Yeah. Like, you know? Like for sure, dude. <laughs> yeah, no, this is awesome. Shout out to Wayne for suggesting this. Um, guys, if you don't know, all of our reactions are chosen by our patrons on Patreon. So if you like what we do here and you want to tell us what to react to, go check it out over there. But until next time, we're Side After Dark and we'll see you soon.